Are you ready? It is time. What do you need? I am big. In a moment. I am Hydelight, welcome to my vlog, good evening. This evening I'm going to talk about mining, laser mining that is, using big ships. And the reason why I'm going to talk about this topic is because I read different articles, posts, threads, forum posts about mining with a Type 10. Personally I have never tried to do mining with a big ship because of the fact that you have tons of cargo to your disposal which also means that mining runs will take a really long time. So I thought to myself, let's put this to the test, right? So, let's do a bit of a comparison over here. First of all, you have the Type 10, which has a decent amount of hard points. It has a decent amount of cargo space. And what you will need for basic laser mining stuff is a refinery, limpets and prospect limpets. For the Type 10, there are some decent slots out there to stack those and still keep enough cargo space. For me, I got around 300 for ton because I also kept the shield generator in this particular case. For the rest, utility mounts doesn't really matter, core internals doesn't really matter at all. At least they are both the same, similar and slow ships because they're big, right? Looking at the Type 9, we have lesser hard points and then you have the cargo space that can be much bigger. 512 was my example for instance, still keeping the shield generator. But the biggest difference over here is that the amount of limpets that I could carry was way bigger. At least the amount of limpets that I could carry. And this is going to be a crucial factor in the end. And I will explain later on why that is. So with the Type 10 it's a really decent ship to fly to an asteroid field. Sure it will take some time to get to let's say a low temperature diamond spot. It also depends like which low temperature diamond spot you want to go for. In this case I actually did my test in a field that has a triple low temperature diamond field. A triple low temperature diamond field means that you can find asteroids much easier that way. That's the reason why I did that. Even while you have 9 different hard points to your disposal inside of a Type 10, the biggest problem over here with using that much amount of laser miners is that capacity will drain pretty fast. But the good news here is that you only need 3 or so cycles to empty out a complete asteroid and to gather all the materials for that specific asteroid. Comparing that with the Type 9 it becomes a little bit like a different story because you need more cycles to gather all the stuff from the asteroid itself. If you compare the ten, Type 10 versus the Type 9 then the hard points are going to be the culprit for those two ships. Because the Type 10 in that case scores better in my personal perspective versus the Type 9. I talked about the speed, they are both slow and there is fairly no real comparison between the two. I mean they have both 7A thrusters, the mass is almost similar, uh, thus the way that these things travel around are basically the same. This kind of brings me to the second thing of comparing things is the prospect limpets. Now in comparison I could hold a prospect limpet of class 3 which also means that you can shoot two different prospect limpets at one cycle so there is no comparison there. The biggest comparison part lies within the fact that you can also stick limpets in here. Make note the amount of limpets that I can hold inside of a type 10 in its current configuration will mean that I can stack lesser limpets using that while mining. And here lies the problem factor with the type 10 versus the type 9. Even while the type 10 can actually drain an asteroid pretty fast, it does it faster than the type 9 can, the problem over here lies with the fact that a limpet will need to carry all those goods from the asteroid towards your ship. So the amount of time that you're going to wait for all those items going to be collected is going to be longer than versus let's say a type 9 that can carry four different limpet controls with different classes of course. But there's a huge difference there. 
on one day I started to do a basic run for filling up the whole complete type 10 versus the type 9, where the type 10 has 304 ton, while the type 9 can hold 512 ton. And to be fairly honest, I find the results pretty shocking. The type 10 took me almost two hours to complete the task at hand, while the type 9 did it in one and a half hour. Make note, there's also a difference between the amount of tonnage, because the type 9 has more tonnage. Since I'm starting to figure out this whole process about the different types of ships and comparing one with another, I think I can actually optimize this whole process by using a type 9 while mining. I think it also could be done with the type 10, because this is just a basic configuration, while there could be some tweaking be involved in this whole process. Because for instance the Type 10 also has a 6 slot where it contains a shield generator, but that's an optional internal. Which also means that eventually you, you can decide, I'm going to ditch that shield generator, replace that with a control limpet, thus the amount of waiting time becomes lesser. I can also imagine that, let's say you have the power plant, and the power plant is kind of like the culprit for the Type 10 while having so many laser turrets, which also means that for using engineering in this case, would also improve, let's say, the power plant or the power distributor in that whole process. There could be some optimization over here, left and right, but at this current state I'm mainly looking at the default configurations that you can get while looking at the A-type class elements that you can stick inside of a ship. The biggest advantage that I find with both ships in particular is that power plants and the distributor are not really going to be that much of an issue regarding the amount of stuff that you can fit on the ship. That's a cool thing. The only downside is that the drain of those power plants will eventually become higher by the amount of turrets that you are using. But still there are some tweaks left and right that could be implemented over here to make this a more optimized mining boat more or less. Anyways, little topic about comparing the type 9 versus the type 10. Have lots of fun and I will talk to you later. Four.